Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install MongoDB as well as we will see the installation of Mongo Compass. After that, we will install Mongo Shell. Let's begin. First, open the Chrome browser and copy the this URL from the description, paste it, press enter. And then you will see this MongoDB homepage. So on the right hand side, we have MongoDB community server. Yes, we are going to download and install community server here in this Windows 11. When you scroll down, you will see some summary here about the community server. After that, we have this green button, just click on it. Then this will scroll down automatically and you can see here the version is 6.0.8 and the platform is Windows 64. Also we have other versions for different platform of operating systems. So select whatever you want. This time we are going to proceed with the Windows 64. That's why we have this option. The third one, the package. So we have two options. First one is the MSI which is installer which is convenient go with that click download and soon you can see on the left hand side downloading is in progress. The size is 483 MB. This will take 2 to 5 minutes. Once the downloading is complete just click on this MSI file. And then very first screen you will see click next. Then click next. Here choose the setup type. If you go with the custom you have options to do something and select the components but this time we are going with the complete installation. This is the service configuration and this time MongoDB is going to be installed as a service. When you come down you can see the service name, data directory location and the log directory location. After that click next. And you can see here MongoDB Compass going to be installed. But we will install this thing separately. Click next. And we are ready to install the MongoDB on Windows 11. Window will show you this pop-up box. Click yes. And you can see the progress here in this progress bar. This will not take much time. And this is only server installation. Okay, finally you will see this message completed. MongoDB this this setup wizard. And now finally we can click on the finish. So guys successfully we have installed our MongoDB community server. Now the second thing we need MongoDB compass. So on the left hand side you can see the tools section. Here we have an option for MongoDB shell. Also, we have an option for MongoDB Compass. So first, we will install MongoDB Compass. After that, we will proceed with the MongoDB shell. I will explain everything. So here we are in the MongoDB Compass section and the download link will appear on the right hand side. See this? Windows 64 bit exe package. Click download. On the left hand side, you can see the size of this exe which is 124 MB only. Okay, once it completes, just click to launch. You can see this pop-up window, MongoDB Compass is being installed. When it completes, it will launch. Okay, we will see finally this MongoDB Compass UI. And here, we are going to create the new connection. So this URI box is for the location where the server is running. Just click on the connect and we have successfully connected to the server. And on the left hand side you can see we have the databases, admin config and local. Also we have the tabs of the databases, three databases present right now. On the right hand side we have a performance tab as well. Now we are come back here on the my queries but we have to select the database. So you can see we have only three databases. Now we can create a database by clicking on this plus icon. Just click on it. Also we have the search box to search the databases. Click 
and you will see this pop-up box. So the first box we need to give the name of the new database that we want to create. So this time I'm going to create a database with the name my sales orders. Okay. Now the second box here we need to give the collection name. So I want the collection like billing. Great. Just click here. So there's a one more option for the time series, but we are not going to do that. Just create the database and you can see we have successfully created the new database with one collection. Also on the right hand side, we have some buttons and controls. This is quite interactive and very convenient to connect the MongoDB server here from the compass. So this is our one collection billing which we have just created. This time on selecting the billing collection this is showing us no data is present. Then you have to go here in the add data. We have the option to import the data via JSON or CSV file. Also we have the direct option insert option. So just select insert document and you will have one document JSON here and I will add one entry like the total amount or something. Like just adding this total key and the value is string format. So I want to give a number. I need to put a comma at line number six as well so okay that's good error gone and now we can insert this document click insert on the top we have the options for the view as well but when you click without saving you will lose your changes so first insert the records then come back here and just check So again, I'm typing the same thing here. Great, insert and one doc document is inserted here. See the ID object ID. Also, you have uh, some controls on the right hand side like copy, remove or delete. Also, we have options to edit. Here we have a find button. If you have uh, lots of objects, uh, lots of documents, so you can search with the help of that. Also, we have the aggregations tab, schema tab, index and validation tab. We have a uh, lots of things to do here. On the right hand side, you can see this is showing how many documents we have in the selected database. So one document and one index is appearing on the right hand side. So guys, this is the uh, MongoDB Compass, which is the GUI client to connect and interact with the MongoDB Compass database. Okay, now we are going to install MongoDB shell and we will interact with the database. So come back on this web page here, click on the option DB shell and on the right hand side, you will see the link of the MongoDB shell to download. This is little bit information about the MongoDB shell, which is also a command line interface client to connect the MongoDB server. So here we are going to download the zip package for the platform 64. Click on the download button. Once you click the download and you will see the downloading is started on the left hand side. Once the downloading is finished, suggest so go to the download location and unzip this file. And here we are, we have downloaded the zip file and we are going to extract this.
okay so we got this folder here now look into this we have some files we have one bin folder go to bin and you can see mongo sh.exe is here so guys we need to set up the environment variable path for this and if we want to use okay for this just copy the path go to the search and then type set environment variable or just type environment variable click and then you get the system properties window on the bottom we have the button environment variable launch it and finally you have this window come here in this section system variables click on the path edit and then come here and paste the path so see this path is up to the bin folder this is the new entry we have just added here great click ok and finally the entry is added in the path variable okay now we will test that the setup is proper working or not so just open the command prompt and here type simple command mongo sh press enter and soon you will see the message connected to the server using the mongodb and the other information and you will see the mongo shell is activated and here you are free to do lots of things let's type some command to show the database show dbs and you can see all the available dbs name appearing here including the one we have just created now i want to use my uh, created database so just type the command use my sales orders means the name of the db press enter and you can see the message switched to the db right now we are inside the my sales orders db and now we can proceed to see how many collections or documents we have again for this we need to type some command to display okay now i'm going to type another, another command show collections when you press you can see we have one collection present in this database so guys we have so many commands to interact the database this video will help you to set up the mongodb mongodb shell in your windows 11 operating system i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool it help